So, got myself like a, a GoPro copy, I'll call it a Go Amateur. Uh, it's worked so far pretty well for doing some videos at work. Um, but I think one of the biggest limitations of these cameras is you just have no idea what you're filming. Um, being that there's no screen, so it's like, take a shot and see how it goes. So for an action camera, I think that's, a, that's pretty good. Of course, you just want to see what you've got when you finish, but trying to do something else um, with a bit more composure and set up and that sort of stuff is probably a little bit difficult unless you use the free app but that probably chews through the battery using the Wi-Fi but I'm doing this to test it out to see what sort of framing I'm getting just from holding it in my hand I'll try a couple of resolutions too That last segment was done in 1080, like the full HD of the camera. Um, this is now being filmed in 720, um, apparently filmed at 30 frames a second. I know when I was setting it up in the workshop, I was getting a lot of fisheye with high def, not so much on the 720. Interesting to see what a close-up view looks like. I just discovered a limitation to using this long stick with the Wi-Fi cam and that's it doesn't keep it on nice and tight I um, can't remember if I actually checked it with the casing that comes with it but that's as tight as that's going to go in and it's worse so I guess I won't be using that what sort of um, screen or, or viewing you see. Uh, a little bit wobbly, but it's worth a try. This is a 1080. Um, I'll reset it to 720 just to see what sort of um, fish eyeing you get, especially from this sort of distance or this sort of distance. Now I've got it set on 720. I've just seen the camera move on the tripod. Um, I think one good thing about the camera is at least it's got a flashing light to tell you that it's doing something. So I know it's filming. Um, I think the reason I didn't bring the, um, the little protective case out for it is because I know that after testing it with other things in the workshop, you can hardly hear anything through that casing on the, the built-in mic. So it'll be interesting to see what sort of sound I get on this, being that I'm just walking along talking. I've no idea what the pickup's going to be. When I've been doing my other videos, I've actually had a little voice recorder on at the same time and using that audio rather than the audio from the camera. But still funny that this spins. could use it to great effect. Now I've actually got my old iPhone 4 on the stem now with the um, using the back camera. I mean the, is it the back camera, front camera, the main camera. Um, it's got a purpose built holder which I'll take a photo of. I don't know what sort of see a lot of videos where you're just holding your arm out and um, this is probably a little bit better but I don't know how well it picks up the sound so that's one thing I'm going to be checking out and testing. I might also test the, um, the front camera because then I think you can see what you're doing as well and see what I'll actually see what the frame is like. So now I'm using it 
using the iPhone 4, or 4S, using the camera that's on the screen side of the phone, so I can actually see what I'm seeing right now, or what you're seeing. Um, I guess it does give you a little bit better um, screen real estate, a little bit more of an idea of what's around in your shop. So I can do it from there, and it's not like you're not looking right up my nose as I do it. Like if I was holding the phone on its on its own. Um, I think it has some applications. I know they made these little things so people can take their big. You see them with their action cameras, the GoPros, and they got it so you can see them doing big flips and stuff from a distance, whatever. Um, it's obviously only yeah, ever really good for video because you can't reach out and touch the button to take a photo. Um, but it's not a, good, not a bad screen. Bit of real estate. Wouldn't mind trying it out for some other things. I guess it's kind of better than doing that. So what I've got it set on now is what's known as high-low in the settings, which I think is 720p, but at 60 frames a second. I think to, so that when you get it playing back at 30 or 25, you're actually able to get a bit of a slowed motion video. So if that's the case, um, the audio is probably going to sound like rubbish. Obviously this shot definitely shows you that you've got um, your camera on the end of a stick. Something to think about. Slightly better. If you did this you could still see that you're kind of holding the camera. But, and that's probably a better, better angle to try. What do you think? I would say, hey, I've got a camera crew walking backwards in front of me. <laughs> Something to give you more of a, an up high view. A little bit more awkward on the arm. I think that previous shot was a little bit easier to manage for a previous position. I think this is probably the most comfortable of the um, the settings or the, the positions to have the the monopod on. Um, fairly relaxed to the way I'm, I'm holding it, and I think it also helps to steady the camera out a bit because having the weight out on the end of the the pole tends to keep it a little bit more steadier than um, holding it in your hand, which your hand would probably bounce around a little bit more if it was right in close. Um, while I'm saying this, I could be lying, and it's probably jumping all over the place. I won't know until I actually look back on it. But um, 
yeah, it's quite a comfortable position. I think that's probably the best position too if I wanted to get a shot of the dogs. 